Today we are going to make easy delicious baked chicken breast. This dish is only 10 minutes preparation and bake it for 20 minutes. For the sauce, you can use the ready-made marinara or tomato and basil sauce that you can find in the store. Today, I'm gonna use this tomato and basil. These are the ingredients, cheese, basil leaves, black pepper, thyme powder, garlic powder, basil paste, salt, tomato sauce, and chicken breast. Now let's do the preparation. Season the chicken breast well with the salt, thyme powder, garlic powder, and black pepper. Now flip over and do the same. This recipe is more easier to do. We just season the chicken and fry and layer all the ingredients into a casserole and bake. In 30 minutes, you can have juicy chicken breast with melting cheese and flavorful sauce. Now let's start to cook. Olive oil in the pan, put in a medium heat and fry the chicken breast. Fry them for 3 minutes and the other side for 2 minutes. But still depends on how big is your chicken breast. You can adjust the time. Now the chicken is ready. Let's prepare the casserole. Now pour the tomato sauce and spread them. Now first, put the fried chicken breast. And add the pesto or the basil paste. Spread the basil paste all the way into the chicken breast. We layer all the ingredients in our casserole and let the oven do the rest. Now add generously the mozzarella cheese. Next, add the tomato sauce and spread them evenly. Add again the mozzarella cheese on top. The chicken is ready to bake. Now preheat the oven 375 Fahrenheit or 190 degrees for 10 minutes. Now the oven is ready. Let's start to bake. Set the time for 20 minutes. While waiting the chicken, let's do the side dish. Gnocchi is a quick side dish. We simply boil and fry. And seasoned with salt, pepper, some herbs, and butter. Put water on the deep pot. Boil the water and add salt. On the other hand, put the olive oil into the fry pan. Turn on in low heat and add the garlic. The best way to get aromatic from the garlic is to cook slow in a low heat. Take your time to cook the garlic. Now the garlic olive oil is ready. Let's go back to the boiling water and add gnocchi.
Gnocchi is a quick side dish. This is the best alternative of roasted potatoes that takes time to prepare. As soon the gnocchi rises to the top, or when they are floating, the gnocchi is cooked already. As you could see, they are gradually floating. Now let's turn on the heat again and remove the garlic. Then transfer the gnocchi into the pan. This is my tip. Don't overcrowd the pan with gnocchi. We want them all crispy evenly. So I use the big fry pan to make them spread into the bottom and let them turn to brown and crispy. Now add the butter. Don't fry longer 5 minutes as possible or they will become tough. Now add the chopped parsley and the mixed herbs. And sprinkle with the salt. Now our gnocchi is done. Let's remove the chicken from the oven. Now spread the basil leaves on top. Now let's do plating. Wow, look at this melting cheese. The tomato sauce, mozzarella, and basil paste make such a great combination. This recipe is perfect for family and friends gatherings. The best part of this delicious sauce that you can wipe it all up with the bread at the end. To all busy mom out there, you can prepare ahead of time or before going to bed and just put into the oven the next day. Continue watching for the playback speed. For the full list of ingredients, check the description below. Guys, if you like the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe my channel below and leave comments. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.